Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I'm back with another problem statement in React JavaScript. So here you can see we have a problem statement, which is we have to create an EMI calculator using React JavaScript. And the application should allow users to input the principal amount or you can say the loan amount. Then we have the interest rate and then the loan tenure in months. Upon clicking a button, the application should calculate and display the corresponding EMI. So if you are new to my channel, make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss the awesome videos. So let's get started. So first of all, I will create React Arrow Functional Component and Export. Then we will modify our JSX part. So I will give the class name. Which is timeline landing. Then the class name to div row container. After that, I will create one H2 and inside I will write EMI calculator. I will give a class name to heading text. Then after that, I will create one div and inside div, I will create one label and I will write loan amount which we want and same. We will give the class name to heading text. After that, I will create one input tag and inside I will give the attribute type to number and then I will give the placeholder that enter your loan amount. I will copy this div, paste it two times. Okay, second one will be the interest rate. It is going to be in percentage. And in placeholder, I will write interest rate. After that, I will write loan tenure. How many months of loan you want? In the placeholder, I will write loan 10 years. Now, after that, we will create use state support that we will import use state from React. And then I will create some states. One is the principal, final state will be set principal. It is going to be a blank string. another state I will create which will be interest rate final state will be set interest rate and again it is a blank string then it will be tenure final state will be set tenure again it is a blank string after that at last we will create one state name EMI to show the calculated EMI and initially it will be null. Okay. So after this div, we will create one button and we will write calculate EMI. We will pass a class name EMI calculate button after that I will pass one function using on click event which will be calculate EMI so let's define this function I will write const calculate EMI arrow function of JavaScript then I will create one variable const principal or you can say P is equals to parse float principal const r for rate of interest parse float interest rate divisible by 12 into 100 this will be the monthly interest rate after that 
नंबर ऑफ टेन ईयर्स वी विल पास आवर टेन ईयर स्टेट एंड हियर वी विल राइट लोन टेन ईयर्स इन मंथ्स देन वी विल क्रिएट वन इफ्स स्टेटमेंट एंड इन साइड इफ वी विल चेक इफ द प्रिंसिपल इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सेम फॉर द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड सेम फॉर द नंबर ऑफ टेन ईयर्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो देन वी विल क्रिएट वन वेरिएबल नेम ई एम आई वैल्यू इक्वल्स टू पी इन टू रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन टू मैथ डॉट पावर वन प्लस आर एंड डिविजन बाय मैथ डॉट पावर वन प्लस आर कॉमा एन माइनस वन सो दिस इज बेसिकली द फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द ई एम आई सो यू कैन सिंपली नेविगेट टू द क्रोम ब्राउजर एंड जस्ट यू कैन राइट formula for calculating emi and you will get a formula p into r into 1 plus r to the power n division by 1 plus r to the power n minus 1 where p is a principal loan amount and r is the rate of interest and n is the number of monthly installments or loan tenures in months so just we have converted our logic into javascript and then after that we will update the final state set emi to emi value dot two fixed two and in the case of else again we will set the EMI to null so that is it so after that uh, we have to modify our input tag also so we will pass in the loan amount value principal on change set principal e dot target dot value same we will pass this value to interest rate and on change set interest e dot target dot value and at last we have the value for tenure after that on change set tenure e dot target dot value so at last we will show our emi value so for that we will check if emi is not equals to null then only we will show our emi we will pass a class name to our h1 heading text so after saving this file uh, we can just navigate to our local host challenge 43 so let's suppose if the loan amount is of 10000 and rate of interest will be 2 and the loan tenure will be 3 months so if i click on the calculated emi you will see i have to give 3344.45 rupees for 3 months so that is something uh, we have implemented our challenge so we have this logic and uh, try to play with this part of code we have and try to implement some more functionality and uh, try to make this ui attractive so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching